And now, WSA9 Sports with Charlotte McBride, sponsored by Xfinity. His players call him the DMV guru. Coach Mike Loxley is known for recruiting local players to play here at the University of Maryland. And this year, it's those local players who are putting this team in the national spotlight. He, he knows the ins and outs of DMV, him growing up here. So he know where the talent is, he know where to pick him from. So just being able to you know, play for a man like that and who, who knows my background and knows everything I've been through, it's a great thing. It makes me want to work hard, so I work hard for him. Dante Demas Jr. is a product of Friendship Collegiate Academy Public Charter School in the district. He led the Big Ten in receiving yards last year before a knee injury sidelined him. Some people would say you're a recruiting genius. Would you call yourself that? I wouldn't say that. I'd say that I got a great product to sell. We're located in the best talent, the most talented area in the country, in my opinion. You got four teams, five teams that are nationally ranked in high school. I just wish we can continue to put that wall around this area and keep them all here, and that's what we're thriving and striving to do. Rakim Jarrett was a standout at St. John's College High School in D.C., and now a junior at Maryland, he put his faith in Coach Loxley years ago and has evolved into one of the Terps' biggest playmakers. And obviously you are a DMU product as well. Why come play for him? I mean, he's just, he's just an honest guy, stand-up guy. Uh, you don't really get that a lot in recruiting in college football. So I, I picked it, put, I chose to put my faith in Coach Locks, and he's, he's been worthy, and everything he said has come into fruition. You have a lot of guys, though, like Rakim and Dante, yeah. who are from here. How special is that, to have the homegrown guys playing for you? Well, they take pride in it. It's much like me coming back as the head coach, and I grew up a Terp fan uh, as, as, our, as my hometown team, and so I took take pride in wanting to get it back to where it belongs, to where we can walk around with the, 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 the M bar on our chest and be really, really proud. I, I feel really good about this team. I love the culture that has been developed, but we're still a work in progress, and as I like to say, the best is ahead for our program. Locks acknowledges it's a challenge coaching in the Big Ten, but then again, he's also coached in the SEC, and he is more than ready for another football season at the helm of Maryland. I'm Charlotte McBride reporting from College Park, WUSA 9 Sports.